Hey, what's up, guys? Let's jump into the first question. This is from Intelligence Squared. His question is, Jesse, these interactions were so short, it seemed like there was no connection building at all. The conversations were fluffy, you know nothing about each other, other than their name, what school they were in. In my interactions, I'm trying to guess where they would be from, what they do for a living, and what they do for fun, and they would ask the same questions about me. This is completely different from everything you have shown us. You sub-communicate the same confident, fun vibe, but you leave not knowing a thing about each other. She is literally asking, who are you? Is this all that is necessary? Why would she be inclined to even text back when she knows nothing about you? I feel like this would work against you. First of all, that's a very good question. But you're under the assumption that there's only one thing that works or one way of attracting girls. We preach the us mentality all the time and it's one of the most important things you can do to make a connection with a girl. But it's not necessary to get a first date. My personal preference is to save the us mentality and connection building for the first date or even the first phone call. If you're in a busy environment like a college campus where people are rushing to class or the busy streets of a city like New York, it's not always profitable to have a long conversation with a girl. So what I do in those situations is just have very short interactions with girls, accumulate more numbers than I would if I just had one or two long conversations and then hit up those numbers. Here's the potential downside to having short interactions with girls. You need to be really good at following up. That means you need to know how to text properly, you need to know how to talk on the phone properly, and you need to know how to go on dates properly. Because what you're essentially doing is you're making up for the lack of initial connection by spending more time following up with the girl so that she's comfortable with you. I don't see this as a potential downfall at all for me personally because I'm pretty damn good at follow-ups. But if you're not that good with following up just yet, it would probably be more beneficial to you to have a longer interaction in the beginning so that you don't have to make up for it later. Also, here's something very interesting that I've noticed. I literally have no difference in the amount of flakes that I get when I'm doing long connection building approaches or just a bunch of short ones. This is my personal experience and observation. Kong and Jason are completely different. That's why there's three of us. You need to take what works from each individual person and use it based on your own personality. For you, a longer approach might yield better results and for someone else, it might be a shorter one. Test everything out and figure out what works best for you. When I go out during the day, I'm usually running an errand and I'm busy and I don't have time to have a long connection with a girl. So what I'll do is make up for it in the follow-up. When I'm texting, calling, going on a date, I'll use those as an opportunity to build a connection versus the initial approach. This is what I use to get a bunch of dates every single week. The next question is from Dino Dude. He basically wants to know why we don't have a section that has all of your content that you have access to in one place. We actually do have a section. Just click on the Your Stuff tab on the left and it'll have everything that you have access to so you don't have to click on each individual section. This question is from AF. He asks, how old are you guys, really? Mid or late 20s? I'm 27, back in college, working on, on another degree. I'm hesitant to game certain girls because I feel like they'll just end up being a lot younger than me and the questions come up. At what age do I draw the line? We're all in our mid-twenties and as far as drawing the line goes, I think that's absolute bullshit. As long as it's legal, go for it. I personally like girls from 18 to 23 because from what I've found, they're just a lot more fun. And there's this stereotype that younger girls are stupid, they're just not as smart as older, more sophisticated girls and I also think that's bullshit. I've met so many girls in that age bracket that are ridiculously intelligent. I think this is just a myth that society has built up. Sure, there's stupid young girls, but there's also stupid older girls. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent now. So you asked, where do you draw the line? Draw the line at the legal age of consent, unless you're in some country where it's legal to, to fuck like 12 year olds, that's fucking disgusting. CMM06H asks, it seems some of you guys text girls and some call girls. Jason has advocated calling girls while Jesse and Kong seem to like to text. But then you guys wrote an article about calling girls. Which method do you use? Have, you, have all of you tried calling versus texting? I've gotten most of my dates through texting, but the two times I did try to call different girls, they ignored my phone call and never got back to me even after I left a message. But Jason says calling is better. This goes back to the whole use what works best for you mentality. For me personally, sometimes I'll call, sometimes I'll text based on the interaction. 
After you start doing this for a very long time, you'll develop an intuition for when it's best to call and when it's best to text. And the only way you can develop this type of intuition is by meeting a bunch of girls and using trial and error to figure out what works best for you. I know that answer might seem a little vague, but it's the truth. There's not one thing that will work for every single girl. Some girls are not comfortable talking on the phone. They'll never answer the phone. I've dealt with that lots of times. Some girls hate texting, but when you call them, they're the most lively person in the world. So you'll have to just develop that intuition to know when you should call and when you should text. This next question comes from Lou Bega. I'm in my late 20s living in a small suburban town. I'm not exaggerating when I say I see a girl in my age bracket like once every month. I find myself completely frazzled the few times I do see one because it's just so unexpected and I'm not prepared. I have no idea how to combat this. Any advice other than move, which I can't do to work? Well, Lou, you're kind of in a tough spot here. If you live in an area that just plain sucks, your best option is to move. Now, I don't know your work situation, but if you absolutely cannot move, then you're gonna have to improvise a little bit. Go to sites like Yelp.com or any other community sites and figure out what's going on in your area. Find clubs or classes that you're interested in and meet girls through that. I like to practice yoga, and one thing I've noticed is that yoga class always has hot girls in it. And that's how I meet girls sometimes, by going to yoga class. So be creative and think outside of the box. Make a list of places you'd like to go or visit or see or do, and meet girls through that. Okay, this next question comes from Day Gamer. I heard on some pickup advice that you shouldn't compliment so much the girl about her looks because it makes you sound needy and desperate. I'd like to hear your perspective about this, Jesse. It makes me confused. So I think the theme of this Q&A should be there isn't just one way to do things. With that said, I've been practicing pickup for about six years now. And when I first started, I really followed the advice of don't go direct, don't show your true intentions. And I wasn't seeing any success. I went six months without even getting a date because I would try to be clever and sneaky instead of just being honest about my intentions. And right when I started going direct is when I started getting laid. So to me, the correlation between going direct and getting laid is, is pretty strong. There are some people out there that can pull off an indirect approach and make it amazing and awesome, but based on our experience and based on our experience helping a ton of guys, going direct is just easier and you'll see success a lot faster. And the last question is from Floris Simple Pickup. Sup Jesse, just a random question. When you say to a girl, I'll flick you a text and if you think I'm weird, that's fine, but if you're spontaneous, then we can go out or something of that sort. Does a girl usually text back more often than not? Just wondering because it seems like a fun, casual, and non-needy way of getting their number, but it would be disappointing if they chose not to text back. Cheers. The answer to that question is yes. I do that pretty much every single time I get a girl's number. The reason is because it gives them the ultimate choice. I personally don't wanna waste my time with a girl if she's not really interested in me. If she's actually interested, cool, we'll go out. If not, too bad. I'm not gonna waste my time. So I use this as a way to screen girls. All right guys, that's it for this week. Now get out there and practice.